What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another random general message for the Collective. Hopefully everyone is doing well, feeling blessed and highly favored. Holy Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. So yeah, we're gonna get into the cards. Uh, I'm gonna keep this one short, you know, kind of short and sweet, um, or I'm gonna try. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use the Messages of Love Oracle deck for overall energy, and I'm gonna clarify with the tarot. Um, hopefully everyone's having a great day. Uh, TGIF, hopefully you guys are doing well, feeling good. Um, I have pre-shuffled, pre let's get into it. Broken. I feel shattered about the situation. Secrets. Reverse. I haven't told you everything. Reverse. Missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. Dishonesty. By lying, I ripped us apart. And destiny, reverse. I'm struggling to find the right path. Reverse. So we have broken, secrets, reverse, missed opportunity, dishonesty, and destiny, reverse. I'll be completely honest, this feels really heavy. Really, really heavy. Uh, bottom of this uh, this one, we have soul contract. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. Uh, that, that's for sure. <laughs> Man, this feels really heavy, though. Uh, first one out is broken. I feel shattered about the situation. So, you know, there's somebody here that, you know, uh, they might be feeling shattered, you know. Um, if it's really done, this person knows that they really messed this up. You know, there's no coming back from it. You know, uh, that's a, a really big pill to swallow. This person could be, um, you know, really going through it right now. Broken. Seven of Cups. Innocence, reverse. Up in the clouds. The Hangman, reverse. Three of Swords, man, it's so heavy. <laughs> Three of Swords. So yeah, this is somebody that was not seeing things clearly. You know, they could have, uh, they could have been heavily manipulated. You know, um, they could have been manipulative themselves. Um, but with both of these in the upright, Seven of Cups and Up in the Clouds in the upright, I definitely get the energy of somebody who just was not seeing things clearly you know and if they were then they were just they didn't care you know somebody whose head mind mind just gone you know uh confused you know uh delusional uh, um <laughs> you know uh high you know they could have been high all the time i don't know uh whatever the case you know this is probably somebody who's you know they're not innocent you know innocence reverse they're not innocent they, you know, have a lot of a wrongdoing. You know, they probably did a lot of wrong in the situation. Uh, this can also represent a passionate new beginning, a fresh start. You know, in reverse, somebody's not getting that. They messed it up, like they said. You know, uh, they sh or they feel shattered about the situation. Um, that's definitely, you know, three of swords energy. You know, somebody is um, going through it. You know, both of these cards, there is somebody crying. You know? I really get the energy of somebody who felt like they couldn't lose. Like, you know, maybe they, there's somebody that took you for granted. Somebody that thought that maybe you'd always be there. That they could just, you know, continue to disrespect you and disregard you and you weren't going anywhere. And uh, now they're stuck. You know, the hangman reverse, they're stuck. I don't know if this person's facing jail time. It's not gonna be for everybody. I don't know if this person's like on their way to jail or if they're already in jail. Somebody could be in jail or on their way. 
Um, I'm, man, what's going on here? What's going on here, Spirit? Hold on. Man, three swords. Seven of Wands. Queen of Cups reverse. Page of Wands. Oh, then. Page of Pentacles. And the Emperor. So this person's stuck. They're in a situation currently, you know, that they, they feel stuck in. You know, the hangman talks about a temporary pause for a reflection. You know, um, somebody could be going to jail, could be in jail. Um, this person has their defenses up currently. Uh, they're super guarded. Seven of Wands. When it comes to a Queen of Cups reverse energy. This is a karmic film. This person is emotionally unavailable, could be emotionally uh, unstable, could be emotionally manipulative. Um, this is somebody jealous, codependent, temperamental. And I feel like this, whoever this is over here, you know, um, they've got their guards up. They've got their, their defenses up towards this person. Yeah, this is the, the karmic femme. I feel like it's bad news. You know, this karmic femme is receiving bad news because maybe this emperor, there's an emperor here in the upright today. This person wants to make an offer to somebody. You know, they want to offer, make an offer of commitment to, you know, someone. And I'm assuming it's not, you know, it's not this person. So uh, that's definitely bad news. Yeah, this masculine energy is closed off to this feminine, this karmic femme. Person could be blocked. Uh, secrets reverse. I haven't told you everything reverse. So either somebody has, oh, look. The moon reverse. Secrets expose. And we got secrets reverse. So maybe something's come out. A lot of secrets have come out. You know, they were keep. you know, these people were keeping a lot, you know, close to their chest. And maybe it's come to the light. You know, it's all come out. Uh, secrets reverse. The tower, the chariot reverse, strength, this one it's a spin around, strength reverse, death, the lovers, yeah. So this is like picking up on that energy from uh, that I, my reading yesterday. You know, there's, um, there's a love contract that's over. You know, could have been a past life connection, uh, could have been a twin flame connection, whatever the case, somebody's just completely like they were, they didn't stop until it was completely ruined beyond repair. That's really the energy I get. Somebody that just did, they, they did not want to stop with the bullshit until it was completely like unrecognizable. There was no way to rectify it. Then they decided to stop. So, um, I mean, you know, this is coming as a tower moment, you know, um, whatever secrets are coming out. You know, the tower, this is a sudden drastic change, uh, something that happens out of nowhere, and it changes the course of things. You know, it affects everybody involved. Uh, this will talk about transformation or upheaval. Um, the chariot reverse, you know, this is out of control. Whatever's happening is out of somebody's control. They have no control over this. Uh, somebody could be having car trouble. Uh, whatever the case, they're unable to move forward, you know, be it, you know, in a car or, you know, any other way they can't move forward because this person wasn't loyal they were disloyal they you know didn't move with integrity they didn't move with righteousness this is not somebody that does the right thing and because of that you know it's a permanent ending and i feel like it's to a love connection a love contract that maybe you had with this person permanent ending it can talk about rebirth or transformation you know uh i'll pull a couple more Nine of Pentacles reverse. Knight of Wands reverse. Three of Wands reverse. This is just bad. Oh. Five of Wands reverse. Let me do one more. Divine Guidance reverse. Yeah. So it's, it's picking up on the energy from yesterday. Then I happen to glance, I see the High Priestess. That was following a Divine Guidance reverse. Like I said, a lot of you could have warned this person. You know, for some of you, in High Priestess Energy, you know, highly intuitive, could be a psychic, a medium, have any one of the clairs. You know, you told, you gave somebody some guidance. 
You know, you were sent to give somebody some guidance. They did not want to listen to you. This came out reverse. They didn't want to listen to you. You know, might have called you crazy. Went around town talking about you. You know, uh, I feel like it's, you know, there's a lot of endings taking place for these energies involved. Uh, you know, a permanent ending, like I said, I feel like that's to a lover's contract. It could be to somebody's independence. You know, where somebody was, you know, financially stable or successful in their own right. Maybe they're losing that, you know. Um, this is somebody that was a player. You know, the Knight of Wands Reverse talks about sexual excess. Somebody just super lustful, you know, laying it low, spreading it wide. Um, and whatever ships they were waiting on, they're, you know, they're not coming in. You know, maybe they were really uh, optimistic about their future. They're not anymore. This is somebody who doesn't want to fight. Maybe, you know, they wanted the smoke. Before shit started, you know, the sky started falling for them. They wanted the smoke. Now they don't. Five of Wands are reversed. This is somebody who, you know, they didn't listen. They could have received some type of divine guidance. They, you, you didn't, they, they didn't want to listen. They didn't heed the warning. They didn't want to listen. You know, I mean, uh, now it's a missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. You know, I mean, like I said, I get the energy of somebody who really just thought that, you know, you would always be there. You were going to be sitting there waiting, you know, biting your fingernails, pulling out your hair, but you was going to be sitting there waiting. And that's not the case. Uh, missed opportunity. <sighs> King of Swords reverse. Y'all saw that spin around in reverse. King of Swords reverse. The Magician. The, the Vampire. Four of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. So King of Swords Reverse, you know, this is a masculine energy. It could be a man or a woman. You know, King of Swords Reverse, this is a, a liar. Somebody cold, calculated, cruel, spiteful. Uh, they're a liar, typically a narcissist. Uh, this person could be trying to manifest. Yeah, yeah, we got magician in the upright, you know, so somebody could be trying to manifest. Maybe, you know, um, I don't know if this person is an energy vampire and they're trying to manifest holding you back, holding on to you. Or if this person is trying to manifest uh, somebody else, an energy vampire. I feel like somebody, you know, they could be trying to manifest or somebody actually could just be holding on. This came out of my uh, reading yesterday, too. This could be somebody pinching pennies. You know, they're having financial struggles, you know, so they're holding back. You know, King of Pentacles in the upright. This could be an earth sign. Could be any sign, really. But uh, either somebody's holding back, you know, like holding back resources, like they have to save their money. Or somebody's holding on. Holding on really tight, like they don't not, they don't want to release you. They don't want to release some type of money. Um, what's going on here? This is four of pentacles. Four of pentacles, king of pentacles. Two of swords reverse. Four of swords. Obsessed reverse. Nine of wands reverse. This is, this, that's you. I really feel like that's you right here. I, I don't, like maybe you and your masculine energy. Because a lot of times you do come out as the, the queen of pentacles. You know, man or woman, uh, you know, somebody could be business oriented. Uh, somebody that has a lot of money. Uh, they could be successful. Uh, they're typically good with money, you know. Um, you know, they, they, they make their money. Um, whoever this is, you know, they're not indecisive. If they were at a stalemate or they were uh, undecided about the situation, this is somebody that's made their mind up, you know, and could currently be like healing, getting some rest. Needing some rest. Yeah, after releasing somebody that was super obsessive, somebody that, you know, refused to quit, like they just wouldn't stop with the bullshit. Somebody that was obsessive, wouldn't leave you alone, maybe. Man. Uh, dishonesty. By lying, I ripped us apart. Oh, got the Queen of Pentacles right there. What's going on? What's up, boo? I love uh, dishonesty by lying. I ripped us apart. Two of cups reverse. Yeah, that's a, a breakup, separation, a divorce. Eight of pentacles reverse. 
false person. Three of Cups. The world, ooh, y'all saw those fall out. The world reverse and Wheel of Fortune reverse, man. Ugh. So yeah, this is somebody that was dishonest. They told a lot of lies, you know, could have lied to you. In my readings, you know, this is somebody that definitely lied on you, you know, too, too much of a coward, you know, strength reverse, too much of a coward to lie, you know, to really just, you know, be completely honest about how they feel about you or at least about the shit they said about you. But behind your back, for sure, this person lied on you. Um, you know, uh, that ripped you apart. Two of Cups, this, you know, this is the end of a relationship, the end of a partnership. And I really feel like in a lot of cases, this one's, this one right here is not coming back. That's not gonna be for everybody. You know, take what applies, let the rest fly. And remember to apply the roles where they fit. But you know, th this is not coming back. Eight of Pentacles reverse. This person didn't invest in this. They didn't put in any work, any time, any effort. You know, in a lot of these, these situations, you were the only one trying. It is impossible for you to carry a relationship by yourself. Of course it ended. It's a false person. You know, they weren't being real from the jump. You know, this is somebody wearing a mask. They pretended. And in a lot of cases, they pretended well. I mean, they fooled you, you know, once. <laughs> um, and this is somebody that was, you know, they could have had a third party. There was a third party involved. Uh, this is somebody that was listening to their karmic ass friends. You know, always out partying, wanting to kick. Woo! you know want to kick it um yeah and they chose karmic friends over completing a cycle so they get to take their class again uh this ultimately turned the wheel out of their favor wheel of fortune reverse this is somebody at the bottom of the wheel man sheesh what's this wheel what's the wheel of fortune reverse bad luck bad karma bad fortune um what's that Yeah, they've been exposed. This is somebody that was working against you in the shadow, secretly. You know, trying to tear your reputation down behind your back like a punk. You know, but uh, they've been exposed. Yeah, karmic connection in, re in reverse. This was a karmic to you, boo. This was a karmic. You cut that ass off, cut a karmic off, and my check got bigger. It led, yep, king of cups reverse. I cannot make this up. An emotionally unavailable, emotionally unstable, or man emotionally manipulative masculine energy. Right along with this karmic-ass counterpart. They both just moody and nasty and codependent as, as hell. Uh, Destiny Reverse. This one, when that card dropped, ooh, my heart dropped. Because I just, ooh. I'm struggling to find the right path. Destiny Reverse. Somebody, ooh. I don't even say it, but I mean, you know, somebody might have blocked their destiny. You know, they blocked their own destiny, you know. You could have had it all. You could have had it all, baby. Uh, destiny reverse. Whew. Yeah, they might have had a destiny with you. Queen of Swords. Cut a karmic off and my check got bigger. <laughs> Every time I see her with this sword, I'm like, cut a karmic off. <laughs> Man... Oh, Ten of Pentacles reverse. Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Swords reverse. Page of Swords reverse, man. Fucking crown. Ugh. So yeah, this is somebody that blocked their destiny. If they was destined to be with you, baby, they really just, you know, ruined that one. Just crashed and burned that plane, you know, right into the ground, right into the mountainside. Uh... You know, I feel like they put you, in a lot of cases, this person puts you in that Queen of Swords energy, you know? You had to be, you know, less emotionally vested. You had to be, you know, somewhat standoffish. You had to have that sword up. You had to stay on guard. It's somebody who forced you into that energy. Uh, whatever the case, they blocked their destiny. They turned you into, uh, you know, Queen of, I saw, almost said, <laughs> I think I almost said Medusa. <laughs> or someone, <laughs> man. They turned you into, you know, the Ice Queen over here. They, you know, lost. If they stood to inherit something, you know, uh, that's for, Ten of Pentacles reverse. You know, this is the loss of generational wealth, the loss of a windfall of money, the loss of a business, uh, uh, a lot of opportunities, a lot of prosperity. Or they could have taken something from you. They could have taken something from a Queen of Swords. Maybe they were taking something or they could have blocked something, tried to block your destiny, block your path. 
Destiny Reverse. Could have kept kept you off your path for a while. Uh, whatever the case, I feel like you still get that out. You yeah, regardless of what they tried to block or take, you still get that opportunity. It's still yours. We talking about destiny here. Only per, only person can ruin that is you, collector. Just like this clown did. Only person that can ruin that is you. So yeah, you still get this whatever Ace of Pentacles. It could be a windfall of abundance. It could be a, a prosperous opportunity. Uh, it's a blessing from the hand of God, whatever it is. I feel like there's a blessing coming towards you because something's come to light. Maybe several things, seven things have come to light. Seven of swords reverse. A lot of lies, a lot of deception, a lot of treachery. You know, page of swords reverse. A lot of shit talking. A lot of gum bumping, karmic clown, trash talking. Like these people are trash, they're trash receptacles. Like literally trash cans, glad trash bags. And they will talk about you. This could have been an empress reverse, somebody's karmic ass mama. Or this could have been, you know, your doppelganger, your copycat. Want to be you so bad, you know, Taurus energy. Want to be you so bad, but could never. What's this page of swords, seven of swords? Knight of cups. Temperance. Four of Cups reverse. Six of Swords reverse. Do one more. The Hermit. So this is somebody, like I said, you know, they may have blocked their own destiny. You know, they tried to steal or take something from you. Something that I feel was destined for you. Could have been, you know, the Ten of Pentacles, some type of inheritance, spiritual inheritance, of actual inheritance. They tried to block or take something from you. Maybe they did. But I feel like that's coming back to that's coming back to it's going it's going to make its way back towards you. Ace of Pentacles upright. Uh, they've been exposed. Whoever was involved, you know the lies, the, de the deception, uh, the trash talking. Like I said, you run around an entire city, running your mouth, spreading lies, and you thought they wouldn't go get back to the collective. Dumb, dumb. At least be real enough to stand in your stand in, stand on your shit. You know, don't talk shit about me. Or, I mean, or the collective. Don't talk shit about somebody and then not be able to stand, you know, stand on what you said. Like, we way too grown for that. This dumbass, this person might want to come in and make a love offer. What'd you say we get back together? I'm collecting, like, what'd you, what'd you say? You, what'd you say you go to hell? First class ticket, straight to hell. Clown. <laughs> no, you wouldn't say that, though, because you you're too balanced. <laughs> Tempered, baby. Temperance energy. This earth angel energy. You know, you are way too balanced, collectively. You know, you're going to handle this like the, the angel of divine light that you are. This person don't want to be rejected, though. And this is what I don't get. Like, yeah, they're worried about, you know, they want to retract that rejection. Oh, I, I know I threw that cup at your forehead two years ago. But uh, what you say? I come back and get it. They can't move forward. Six and swords reverse. This is somebody that has indeed, you know, probably blocked their destiny. Like, destiny reverse. Six of Swords reverse. They cannot move forward. They're not. They're blocked. They're stuck in whatever rough waters they decided to, to go party in. They want to come retract that rejection. Oh, uh, yeah, no, you can't come get that cup. But remember, remember that cup you rejected? That cup from that hand in the sky that you rejected? Yeah, uh, you can't come back and get that. It's already been given to somebody else. Goodbye. <laughs> um, the Hermit. This could be somebody healing from something. This could be somebody that has made a discovery. What's the Hermit? What is the hermit? Oh, that's you. You done healed from some stuff. Go on ahead, pool. Uh, four of wands. The moon reverse. Or no, this is this person. They've discovered, they made the discovery that you were their twin flame. Like you and them should have been together. Y'all were supposed to be happy in union and have stability, security, and Everlasting happiness. Yeah. Somebody's secrets are coming out. The moon. The moon reverse. What's the what's the what's the secret? What's the moon? Oh. Ace of Wands reverse. What do I oh, what is that? Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles reverse. Six of Collective. My last 20 reads now. We rolling on about 9, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This comes out in the upright. Six of, six of wands in the upright. Once again. Period. What they thought. Six of pentacles. Some secrets have come out about something.
some secrets have come out. You know, what was hidden, what was done in the dark, it's been exposed. Uh, this ain't gonna be for everybody. For some of you, this has something to do with some type of STD. Sexually transmitted disease. Could have been a lie. I mean, they were telling lies. So, I mean, there's no, I mean, goodness gracious. Ace of Wands reversed. You know, I'm looking at that page of swords. It's peeking at me. That page of swords reversed. This could have had something to do with an STD. And maybe this person's been exposed. You know, like, oh, well, you said such and such uh, had this or had that. But, you know, such and such is not, you know, fucking the entire city like you are. So, you know, I don't know. Somebody wants to balance something out, though. Two of Pentacles, they want to balance something out because wherever they went to collaborate, it didn't work. You know, it didn't work out. Uh, or no, you know what I'm getting? Some secrets have been exposed, maybe about what somebody said, maybe about what somebody did or somebody has. Uh, they want to balance something out. They would love to balance things out with you. You don't want to work with this person. Three of Pentacles reversed. You don't want to collaborate with them because you know exactly how they get down. You're good. Six of Wands, too busy winning. Too busy winning. Leo energy, big Leo. Uh, Six of Pentacles, you might be receiving something. This could be you deciding to go towards, you know, generosity, reciprocity, you know, equal give and take. Um, or this is somebody giving you something. Six, six could be significant. Why do I keep seeing that number, six, six? Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles, baby. You won the end. <laughs> you won. It's over. Yeah, somebody is uh, taking that tumble. You know, <laughs> taking that tumble down that mountain of deceit, of treachery. Yeah, ten of wands, tremendously burdened. Lord, I'm tremendous. Lord, my back hurt. Lord, all my secrets then came out. Lord, oh, I'm in legal issues. Lord, divine partner. We got divine partner and lustful. I don't know <laughs> what's going on here. Somebody divine partner is lustful. They laying it low, spreading it wide, not getting what they want in secret. <laughs> or this person could be losing faith, losing hope in secret. Somebody might be going to jail, man. They're keeping this hidden. Hey, this is not, the public don't know about this. Somebody might be going to jail. Hey, the swords. This dark witch, dark practitioner that was careless and reckless, all up in your business. This person's under judgment now. And they might have an entity attachment. Oh, goodness. He is an emotional manipulator. They don't have no remorse for what they did either. They don't care. They don't care nothing about what they did to the Empress. Granted, you know, they tried to put ten swords in your back. They wanted you here, pool. They wanted you down bad. Didn't want you getting up. But uh, you did. Uh, Ten of Swords came out reverse. Whoo! Yeah, you healed from that. Six of Cups. This could talk about the past. This could talk about reconciliation, reunion, uh, intuitive care of an upright. This is somebody, you know, catching the signs and listening. This is your past person. King of Wands reverse. You know, they could be, you know, listening to their intuition now. They want a reunion. They're thinking about the past. They don't want to let it go. This person's a trash box. A clown. An opportunist, somebody that wears many masks, they took advantage of you. And now, they're, yeah, they're paying for it. Nine of Swords. All the lies, all the deception have been re uh, revealed. Yeah, they ain't looking at what you what you invested in. You know, they ain't getting no return on their investment. They ain't looking at what you invested in with, uh, you know, green eyes. Like, if you don't get your karmic ass on. Yeah, a lot of you don't have love. Like, see, <laughs> there's no love in this situation. You know, a lot of y'all know that. And this person was doing, man, they were doing black magic too. You know, a lot of you already know. It was injustice. Somebody was a hater. This could have been, I don't care if it's somebody you was, you know, sleeping with or not, you know, married to, had kids with or not. They were a hater. This could have been, yeah, Queen of Wands. This was a false flame, Pooh. Twin flame reverse, Queen of Wands. This was a false flame, Pooh. It wasn't a real deal, baby. You got something better coming. They tried to stop your money. This is somebody that was trying to stop your money. They might want to communicate this. They took impulsive action to stop your money, to block your money. Yeah, with black magic. I can. That's the truth. 
they took impulsive action. They might have did some type of black magic in order to block your money. Have Queen of Pentacles reverse. Have you, you know, inverted. They did this impulsively. They might want to communicate it. That it was them. It was me. I did it. I'm the one that stopped your money. Remember when you stopped getting revenue? Yeah, that was me. I did it with my witch bitch. We did black magic on your channel. You know, I don't know, man. I, I bet they uh, <laughs> bet they regretting doing that shit. The sun reverse five of pentacles, yeah. Nine of cups reverse. Yeah, bet they regretting doing that shit. Uh let me get your oracle. I'm gonna pull from uh the light worker oracle. Uh hopefully you guys are enjoying your day. Uh, it is cold. You know where I'm at. I'm in Kansas. It's cold. Like today is like the first, it feels like the first day of winter for sure. Uh, grounding. Uh, number 15 could be significant. Grounding. I feel like a lot of you might have to ground when you figure out when you, when all of this comes to light, uh, yeah, you have to ground, do some grounding, my love. All right. You long for the free and open worlds of spirit and light. Yet you also yearn to experience the healing power and divine joy of sacred sound and living color. You are meant to bring joy, beauty, and comfort to this world, to share the spiritual light. To do so, you need grounding. Your dreams want you just as much as, as you want them. Grounding helps you bring your dreams to life in your world for the benefit of many. When a reminder comes from higher guidance to ground oneself, it's a loving encouragement, never a judgment. Grounding is a spiritual version of remembering to call your mother. It is a chance to check in with what's happening in your physical life and make you sure you are giving appropriate time and energy to what really matters to your heart. It is a chance to appreciate the beauty of the natural world and the love in your relationships. It is a chance to make sure your spiritual work is being applied in your life in ways that feel good for you. It is a chance to speak your prayers rather than only think them. You might even dance them or create a colorful flower offering for your altar or sing them from your heart. We are guided to ground ourselves when there has been an increase of light to the head. This can occur through meditation, prayer, or conscious connection with spirit. You might be on fire with ideas and inspiration, but struggling to express them all practically. You may even feel congested or tense in parts of your body where the energy needs some help to flow. This is a sign to move in a way that feels freeing, strengthening, and expressive, and to add healthy relaxation and exercise into your lifestyle to allow for healing, to allow healing to occur. Then the light can move through your entire body, bringing vitality and helping you translate your ideas into reality. Take care of your body. Uh, choose what works for you. You'll know when you are grounded because you will feel very connected to your body, aware of your emotions and clear, energized and present with a sense of well-being. If you are not feeling that way, this oracle says that you can. Your energy and well-being can improve and you can feel good about who you are and how you choose to live your life. Grounding will help you and the universe will help you too. Grounding. BB, very important. Good stuff. Uh, I'm going to close this reading here. I hope this helps. I hope there was some some confirmation, maybe some clarity, uh, maybe some encouragement. You know, um, if nothing else, you know, thank you so much for joining me, fam. Um, I love you guys to the moon and back. Love you so much. Thank you. Um, as always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.